guys, Laura Senko here. As always with Black Belt Paul Glenda, we got another fun submission for you today. Uh, today, I'm gonna show a really cool modified Kimura setup from when you can't get someone to release their grip um, when, you have, when you're almost on the arm bar, but you just can't finish it. So, um, start now. I get here a lot, I love arm bars, but you know, it's, it can be really difficult to get people to release their grip here. Even when you're doing this, even when you're peeling hands, it just, it can be a total pain to get someone and you're like, you're like, it's right here. So this is a fun little, um, a different direction that you can take. So as you're looking, as you're fighting this, can't get it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna stick it in the crook, really deep in the crook here of Paul's elbow. I'm gonna find my left bicep and then I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna get a clamp on his wrist here. And then the first thing that you wanna do is take your right foot and actually post on the hip here in order to allow yourself to have this angle here as well as block his hip as you do it so he can't come back into me. Then I'm gonna take this foot here, I'm gonna bring it over and I'm actually gonna kind of like tuck it here again to keep him from turning that way and secure the position even more. Then I'm gonna pass this. So I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm just gonna use my own thigh as the fulcrum now. I can post on this hand here to give myself the elevation that I'm gonna need. And then what you're looking to do, even though he still has his grip, his shoulder is in trouble here, all you need to do is create that Kimura motion, even though he still has his hands clasped. He's gonna think he's safe, but no, he's not. So you can post up here. You can even get up on this foot if you, if you, if you uh, have the time and the flexibility, but you don't have to. Um, as long as you can post up, you're gonna wanna twist it down. And it doesn't look like much from here, but again, he's, he's stuck in this position and I'm doing this to his, I'm doing this to his shoulder. So it's not, a, it doesn't look like much. <clears throat> so again, we're here. I can't get him to release his arm bar. I stick my right hand through, get a rear naked choke grip with a wrist control here. Push off here, get your left leg through. And then it, you, this is the part where you're gonna switch your grip, take your right hand, use your thighs and fulcrum. You still have this nice and deep here. So really this is part arm crusher part forearm pressure. Um, take your left hand, post wherever you need to to get the elevation. And then I'm looking to um, drive my knee to the mat so, and twist. Ah. So it's like I'm coming, so I have to do it too again. No, no, it's okay, so I have him like this. The motion you're wanting to make is this. Um, as much as you can think about twisting forward and down at the same time. So a little bit faster. This, here, 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 here. Ah, there you go. A lot of times people don't see it coming because you feel, you feel safe when they've got that, whatever grip they've got, whatever, you know, as long as they still have it, you know, they're gonna feel safe and they're gonna assume that you're going for the low hanging fruit, which in that case is the arm bar that you've worked so hard for. But little do they know that you have been watching one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> so you got some tricky shit up your sleeve. Uh, did I miss anything? Nope, good. Any details? No, it was perfect. Shoulders okay? Yep. <laughs> For being old, you yes. You can send me a bill later. You're not that old. All right, guys, <laughs> uh, keep it locked in right here. Uh, more demos headed your way.